Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. Today is that fateful day we've all been waiting for. I am going to be sharing the query that got me an agent at Root Literary with my middle grade novel. I'm super excited to share this mainly because like I just want to talk more about my book because I love my book so much um, but also because I am so dang proud of this query like I worked so hard on it and it paid off and it makes me very very happy because I hate query writing. It is my least favorite. It is a total different skill than writing a book or even writing a synopsis like this is the worst because like you need marketing skills <laughs> and I I had to work really really hard to like sharpen those. It got me a 36% request rate and a total of 23 requests. I think it was pretty successful and I don't know I'm just excited to talk about my book. I will link some resources down below. I mainly just watched Alexa Dunn's videos. <laughs> Susan Dinnard's, she, she's got a whole website. She's a YA author if you weren't aware. Uh, she's got a lot of helpful information about all of the steps of writing a book and finding an agent so I would recommend checking her out and Alexa Dunn's videos but okay let's let's get into it Ooh, I'm so excited kind of nervous <gasps> dear Samantha I know you enjoy conversational piece middle grades with a distinct voice a touch of whimsy and a dash of humor I hope you'll consider my 36,000 word middle grade contemporary fantasy standalone the glass witch featuring own voices representation it will appeal to fans of the witchy atmosphere and hocus pocus and the pageantry and body positivity of dumpling by julia murphy 12 year old adelaide good has never been good enough Ever the disappointment, she's the weakest witch born in three centuries and has absolutely zero chance, as the town's fat girl, of winning the Cranberry Hollow Halloween pageant. But winning brings glory, and glory means proving herself worthy of the good name, which is all Addie's ever wanted. What she most certainly does not want, however, is to enact a curse, waking a 300-year-old witch hunter from the grave, a hunter with an insatiable appetite for the bones of children. But then again, Addie's never had good luck. <laughs> With the aid of an ancient spell book, a monster obsessed neighbor, and a twitchy nosed furry friend, Addie must hunt down the three ingredients to break the curse before the stroke of midnight when the jinx becomes permanent. But the hunter's powers are stronger than foretold, and pesky witch haters stalk the streets. Not to mention the curse has turned Addie's bones into glass, sprouting more and more cracks as midnight approaches. Which makes it terribly hard to run in heels. Addie must break the curse before the hunter not only ruins the pageant, but erases magic and her from the town. And in the process, maybe, just maybe, prove herself good enough. I am an author mentor match round five mentee and enjoy creating videos for my fast growing author tube channel. I was also an author panelist at last year's BookNet Fest in Orlando, Florida, speaking about writing with disabilities while having an author tube platform. Thank you so much for your consideration. Then I put my name, my phone number, my Twitter, and YouTube handles. And then below that was my first 10 pages. Which, I mean, you'll have to buy the book to read. <laughs> Fingers crossed when we go on sub, it sells. Fingers crossed, folks. Fingers crossed! So yeah, that was my query that got me an agent at Root Literary. Uh, Samantha Fabian loved it, so that makes me very happy. <laughs> and now you guys know a little bit more about my book, The Glass Witch. Um, I love it very, very much, and I'm going on sub very soon, and I just, I love her. I love Addie. She's, she's a great gal. She's a great book. Um, and I hope one day you guys get to read her. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about querying, leave your comments and I will try to answer them the best that I can, mainly just like based on my experience. Uh, but really like check out the links below. Those are probably going to be more helpful. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!